everybody! Today we are going to make japchae. Japchae is stir-fried vegetables, mushrooms, and meat with chewy glass noodles. Does it sound delicious and nutritious? Yes! If you have a big party coming up, you must make this dish. You will get a lot of attention. You will be very popular. Years ago, I uploaded my japchae video, but today I'm going to make a small portion. First, let's marinate beef. This is filet mignon, but if you are vegetarian, skip this. Use more mushrooms. So I'm using this beef, but you can also use pork. Dried shiitake mushrooms. Soak this for two hours. Look at this. Mushrooms are really thick. So I'm going to slice this. Look at this. So if you are vegetarian, just use more shiitake mushrooms. And then put this in the beef. Slice this. And here, one clove of garlic. Just add here. Sugar. You can use white or brown sugar. Ground black pepper. Soy sauce, two teaspoons. Sesame oil, one teaspoon. And mix. Smells like bulgogi. I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator while I'm preparing other ingredients. Egg yolk and egg white. Just a little pinch of salt. You can make this method using this egg white also. Make it really white paper like this. You can use this. But egg yolk is a yellow color, it really stands out so pretty. I always make the yellow paper. Wipe off the oil so that really thin layer is coated on it. And let's turn off. So there is no heat. This pan is hot with this remaining heat when it's just cooking. Flip over like this. So pretty color. So both sides is yellow. And then cooked. So let it cool down. This is spinach. My final product is going to go this very important bowl today. So whenever I finish my cooking, I'm going to put it here. So first, let's start with the spinach. So spinach is already cleaned. Around 30 seconds to one minute cook. Okay, I will just keep boiling this. out and then here we need to add some soy sauce and sesame oil this is a noodles look at it it's made with sweet potato starch so you can buy this in Korean grocery store very easily or you can use a cellophane noodles so when you cook this it look really clear look like a really glass and chewy so that's why very make this dish very special. So I'm going to use four ounce. Okay. 
Okay, one minute later, just stir this. Here you go. <laughs> I'm going to cut all kinds of vegetables around two inch pieces. If this white part is too thick, you can cut it in half. But today, mine is good, thin enough. Two or three green onions, and then onion. Onion is really delicious. So I'm going to use around one cup. White mushrooms, cut the tip off and thinly slice. I'm going to cut this with red stuff. So carrot and red bell pepper. But you can use just only red bell pepper or you can use all carrot. Around three quarter cup. To remove this inside thing. Cut this one really nice, beautiful, eh? red color. So that's just a small amount I'm going to use. Don't throw them away. Chop it up and then make the stir fry rice. And then the jidan, keran jidan, let's cut it. My cutting job is done now. So exactly seven minutes later, I'm checking this one. Noodles are chewy, well cooked, really hot. These noodles are very long, so I'm going to cut a few times. Okay, and then this is our bowl, right? So all everything is done. We gotta add this here. Sesame oil I'm going to use. Soy sauce, one teaspoon, and sugar, one teaspoon, and just mix. If you make a big batch. You can do this in another bowl, but today we make a small portion, so I'm using in one bowl, all everything, like this. Add some oil, onion, and green onion. And then, pinch of salt. So we keep stir frying until this green onion, white part is withered, and then onion looks a little translucent. So you don't have to wash this. Let's turn on the heater again. Little bit oil. And this time, mushrooms. Also, pinch of salt. So when mushrooms are cooked, a little juicy and shiny. This one. Transfer this to the bowl. Next, the red stuff. Carrot first. Twenty seconds, I stir fry, and then this red bell pepper. Okay, done. And then, don't forget, this our beef and mushrooms. So, stocky mushrooms are marinated with 
bulgogi marinade sauce. And then when you cook this, it tastes really like a texture is like a bulgogi. We have to stir fry this until beef is no longer pink and also mushrooms are well cooked and softened and like shiny. I will just use one large garlic clove. Soy sauce and sugar. One tablespoon soy sauce. One tablespoon sugar. Ground black pepper. So black pepper. I want to add a lot because black pepper make it really tasty. And more sesame oil. Mmm, awesome, delicious. And then uh, sesame seeds, crispy sesame seeds. This egg, I will just add this here. Oh my, isn't it pretty? And more sesame seeds. Great! For you guys, I really wish I could share with you guys. Serves four. If you are hungry, two people. <laughs> so let me taste it. Japche. Today we made the japche together. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Delicious. Sweet noodles are a little slippery inside of my mouth. It's more delicious than usual. Mm. People ask me sometimes, Oh, Mangchi, when you make with Japche, how come you instead of just you stir fry all everything together, why you just one by one individually you cook? Each ingredient needs a different cooking time. So we have to prepare this one so all separately. One bite of japchae has so many tastes and texture. Whenever people make this one for the big party, always is gone quickly. Especially when you go to padlock party, you brought the, your dish. Nobody touch this, you will feel embarrassed. But Japchae is very, very popular, I guarantee. So make this and share with your family, friends, and co-workers and everybody. <laughs> okay, enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye!